It is the year 1066. In 1065, King Edward the Confessor died. Edward was without heirs, and the Witan elected Harold to be king. In 1066, Harold Godwinson was crowned Harold II, but there were two other contenders for the crown of England. Harold Hardrada, King of Norway, and William, Duke of Normandy. They will take the crown of England by force if necessary. Harold Hardrada's army sailed to England on 300 longships. Harold Hardrada landed near York and defeated the Northern Army at Fulford. King Harold quickly gathered his army and forced marched to Stamford Bridge. Harold's army travelled a distance of 185 miles in four days. Harold Hardrada's army were taken completely by surprise. After a fiercely fought battle, Harold Godwinson, King of England, win. Two days later, the Norman fleet sailed for England. William landed unopposed at Pevensey Bay. Harold's exhausted army travelled south. Harold's army marched 241 miles in seven days. Harold and William and their armies come face to face at Sandlack Hill. Sandlack Hill, today battle in East Sussex, site of the Battle of Hastings. Harold's army took up position at the top of the hill. Williams were positioned below. Harold had the better position, but the Normans had bought horses with them. Harold's Saxons formed a shield wall. The Norman archers fired arrows at the Saxon shield wall. William then sent spearmen to try and break the Saxon shield wall. William's cavalry attacked in support of the spearmen. The Normans are unable to break the Saxon shield wall. Herein William has been killed, the Normans retreat. Since in victory, the Saxons break rank and give chase. William lifts his helmet to show he is still alive. The Normans rallied and slaughtered the Saxon troops before they can return to their shield wall. The battle continues for most of the day and Harold is killed. It is uncertain if Harold was killed by an arrow in his eye or hacked to death by four of William's knights. William the Conqueror, first Norman King of England.